Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will learn how to use string interpolation in Scala. So in Scala, string interpolation means that we want to replace a defined variable in a given string with some value. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So for example, I will uh, define a uh, constant variable here so let's say the variable name is name itself and I will define a name called mark for example okay and I will define one more variable and the variable name will be age and the age will be for example 18 so I want to print the name and age of this person using print line there are a few ways of uh, using this variable inside our print line function and we will do this using string interpolation. So the first way of doing this is uh, by concatenation. So you can just say for example name the variable name and then is and once again the this plus symbol which means concatenation and then age and then once again plus symbol and then double quotes years old so the, this is the first way of uh, using these variable inside this print line function so you can use this concatenation plus symbol which means just do the concatenation of this variable plus this uh, constant string plus this age variable and then plus years old and let's run this uh, code and let's see what happens and it prints mark is 18 year old right i can give here space and once again run it and it will print mark is 18 year old so this is one way of uh, printing your variables using print line but scala support three more types of string interpolations and we will see this right now so the first way of string interpolation is using s before your string so for example i just use this s character before these double quotes and then i can just write uh, the dollar symbol and the name variable name and then i can just write is once again dollar symbol and then age and space years old okay so this is called s string interpolation and using this kind of interpolation we can directly uh, use these variable using dollar symbols inside the string so this is called s string interpolation and when i run the code let's see what's the result is and result is the same the second way of using string interpolation is by using f string interpolation so this one this above interpolation is not type safe so we are using the string variable here also and age variable here also right but for example if we want to construct our string in a type safe manner we use f string interpolation so you use f before your string and then uh, your uh, variable name dollar and then uh, the variable name and then you provide the type of that variable for example name is of type s so we provide this uh, percentage s symbol after it after the variable name and this kind of uh, string interpolation you have seen in c programming also so basically by this percentage s we mean that we want to provide string variable before this dollar s symbol now in the case of uh, age because age is an integer we can just provide for example dollar d here so just write dollar d for integer and then we will run the code once again and it will show us the same result right so this kind of a, a string interpolation is called f string interpolation now let's say this age would be for example 18.5 right so this becomes the decimal value or a float value and now this notation will give us error so it will not even compile and it says type mismatch found 
double required and for double or float we can use f symbol here and then you can see this error is gone so this one is type safe so we provide specifically what type of variable we want to print here okay now the next type of string interpolation is called raw interpolation so let me give you an example so i will just write print ln and then here i will just write uh, for example hello world and i want to print world on the next line so i will just provide backslash n for the next line and here i will just write s so this is s string interpolation but for example i will just use the third kind of string interpolation which is raw string interpolation which we can write it like this so you just use this raw keyword before your string and let's see what is printed in both the cases so i'm going to run the code and let's see what happens so you can see in the result in the case of raw string interpolation this backslash n is not escaped so it just print this string literally in a raw form so it doesn't print on the next line this world keyword it prints all the string literally but in the case of s string interpolation the escaping do takes place that's why the world is printed on the next line so this is how we can use string interpolation in scala one more thing i just want to tell you here is how to comment your code so you can uh, comment your code as in java you can use double forward slashes here to comment your code or you can use this forward slash asterisk and at the end asterisk forward slash to comment your code so this double forward slash is used whenever you want to uh, comment one line of code for example and this forward slash asterisk asterisk forward slash is used when you have multiple lines of comments so if you want to comment multiple lines then you can use uh, forward slash asterisk asterisk forward slash so that's it for this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now